Welcome back to Apex Crypto Academy, your ultimate home for all your crypto education. As always, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. One new video every single Friday, and that means more money because of one new seed phrase every single day. So it has been an amazing week in crypto. We've seen substantial amount or significant returns in our portfolios. And right now, as we're speaking, our coins are just doing amazing. If you can just do a quick cross check on the markets, okay? Bitcoin today is trading at $70,000. Ethereum is trading at $3,500 and before, before I, go, I, go, I go further, if you are new here, please welcome to Apex. This is your one-stop platform for all your crypto education and join the family, okay? So Ethereum, $3,500, BNB, $611, Solana, $186, XRP, not moving, not moving, not moving that well. It's a 0.61, still up, but it's still not moving and uh, Dogecoin has been doing very very well and then we have cadena and then we have avalanche that is the top 10 okay but we've seen so much growth in the industry bitcoin trading above seventy thousand dollars that's a very very good milestone so today i want us to demystify something because everyone knows about bitcoin but people don't know exactly where bitcoin came from okay those of us who are in crypto for a long time we know that bitcoin was created by someone by the name satoshi nakamoto but do we really know who Satoshi Nakamoto is? Do we really understand the history behind this name? And do we really understand where Satoshi Nakamoto came from? Okay, so as things stand, Satoshi is still someone who is anonymous. Nobody knows who Satoshi is, okay, because it's just a pseudo name that was used to mask whoever that created this technology. Do you think Satoshi is one person or do you think Satoshi is a group of individuals? At the end of this video, you're going to have the answers. And I want you to comment down below. Do you think Satoshi is one person or do you think Satoshi is a group of people? And as always, I'll be giving you guys the next seed place on our giveaway series. And by the way, guys, if you're into this channel, I'm doing a series of giveaway where in every video I'm giving out one new seed phrase, okay? And then at the end of 12 videos, the person who will have those 12 seed phrases will basically import that wallet and then they will take the money that will be in that particular wallet. This is what I'm considering to do, okay? I don't want to put only one coin on that wallet because if I put, let's say for example, I only put in USDT, that means that the person will access that wallet, even if two people access it at the same time, it is only one person who can be able to send out the funds. So I'm thinking of distributing those or, or the, uh, that money into about five coins, okay? Five, six coins I'll decide, and then I'll put each coin a substantial amount so that even if five people access the wallet at the same time, then someone can take out USDT, someone else can take out another coin, and I'll be giving you guys the names of the coins in that particular address so let's get this started now the first person or the first victim you can call them victim in this case uh who we think is satoshi or who i think might be satoshi is someone by the name nick sasbo okay so this is why nick sasbo is being considered as uh, one of the bitcoin creators or the person who created uh, a Bitcoin because we all know that Satoshi is just a name that has been used to mask the person behind uh, that technology. Now, Nick Sasbo is a renowned scientist and a cryptographer who is highly regarded in the cryptocurrency uh, community. So the reason as to why uh, we think that Nick Sasbo is basically the creator uh, behind Bitcoin is because he has played a significant role in the developing of digital assets and market inspired other programmers and uh, asset, asset markets rather and inspired other programmers that means that he has been in the front uh the front run of this uh, particular industry okay and for the record there is a lot of evidence suggesting that nick sasbo could be the creator of bitcoin okay number one uh the writing style of and the word of choice of nick sasbo are very similar to those used by Satoshi, okay? If you go to the uh, the Bitcoin white paper and read those words, then realize that the wordings of the Bitcoin white paper and Nick Sasbo are almost similar because there's just a way someone can type. There's a way, you know, this message has been crafted by someone because of basically uh, 
their writing styles, okay? And also is the creator of concepts and technologies that form the basis of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptos. And also, he has had personal motivation for creating a decentralized payment system as sought vengeance for his further suffering. So these are some of the reasons uh, why we think that Nick Sasbo might be Satoshi or might be one or might be a person in that group of people calling themselves um, a Satoshi, okay? And then also he possessed the cryptographic skills necessary to create the project at the level of Bitcoin, which is another overwhelming evidence. And also it is known that one of Satoshi Toshi's Nakamoto wallet starts with the character 1 and S, which corresponds with the initial of Nick's husband name and surname. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think. Do you think this might be Satoshi? Do you think he might be in a group of that people? Or these are just uh, allegations that are basically uh, done or uh, basically put out there to try and uh, make people believe that uh, this guy is uh, actually Satoshi. Now, the other person who we might think is Satoshi is someone by the name Hal Finney, okay? So Hal Finney is a renowned computer scientist. He's late, may his soul less in priest, okay? And he's one of the people who we heavily believe or we strongly believe might be Satoshi, okay? So this is why, because remember, Hal Finley was a computer scientist, okay? And a pre-Bitcoin cryptography pioneer who reported the first person other than Satoshi to use Bitcoin software, file report bugs, and make improvements, okay? However, an acquaintance and co-blogger of Finn, Rob, of Finn, that is uh, Robin on Hanson, supposed that it supposed that was at least 15% sure that Hal was more involved than he said, okay? Although he later uh, retarded, uh, retarded, retracted these claims when new evidence arose. However, if this person was Satoshi, and uh, he passed on. I am sure the lead, the wife would have inherited all the assets that this person uh, was owning. So, mm, not so much strong evidence to back uh, the, those allegations that Hal Finney is actually Satoshi. However, there is a very strong um, evidence suggesting that Hal Finney, in partnership with someone by the name Doreen Nakamoto, those two connections might be actually people behind the brains surrounding a Bitcoin. Why? Because Doreen Satoshi Nakamoto is actually the person whose image has been used heavily. People saying that he is Satoshi. You are seeing these images everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. People saying that Satoshi, and whenever someone hears about Satoshi, that is the image that comes to your mind, okay? That is Dorian Satoshi Nakamoto. However, this guy has publicly come out and said that he's not Satoshi. In fact, he has been on so many interviews claiming that he's not Satoshi and people should stop saying uh, that he is Satoshi. However, Forbes journalist that is uh, Andy Greben was investigating the identity of Satoshi and it was discovered that a man by the name Doreen Nakamoto was living a few blocks from Finley. Okay, remember I told you that these two people, it's heavily believed, okay? There's strong evidence suggesting that the two of them might be Satoshi, okay? So basically, uh, when Doreen himself was initially investigated, as many had suggested that it could be Satoshi, these claims were simply dismissed when Satoshi vehemently denied his, in his involvement. And he said clearly that he has got nothing to do with Bitcoin, okay? Here you see, this is the picture, okay? I'm sure you've seen this picture everywhere. People saying that uh, this is Satoshi, and this guy actually came out and said that I am not Satoshi, and please stop linking me. With Satoshi Nakamoto because uh, that is not me. In fact, this is a video that I uh, came out and said publicly that is not Satoshi. So listen in. Listen in. But uh, the main reason I'm here is to clear my name that I have nothing to do with Bitcoin, yeah. nothing to do with developing. Um, I was just an engineer doing something else. Okay. And. If you look at the time span, 2001, when it was supposed to be developed, uh, I wasn't there. I was working for the government through a contracting company. That's not me. Okay. I never communicated with Bitcoins. Okay. Thank you. Um, Leah wrote all this? Yeah. Uh, 2010 to 2000. I was at home. Okay. I wasn't working for anybody. Okay. I just believe that somebody put that fictitious name in there. Mm -hmm. Satoshi Nakamoto and Bitcoin. 
or Bitcoin. And there you go. So he publicly came out and said that he is not Satoshi Nakamoto. So there is the big question. Who is Satoshi? Do we know who Satoshi is? And by the way, before I proceed, let me guys give you, let me give you guys the first coin that is in that giveaway wallet. And the first coin in the giveaway wallet is not a coin. It's a token. It's a token by the name BFT. That will be our first token in that wallet so for you to get that bft you know what you're supposed to do in that wallet you'll go ahead and you need to add the contract address for bft so that you can be able to access the bft that is in that particular wallet okay i'm gonna give you guys the second coin and that coin as we progress okay that is about doreen satoshi nakamoto he publicly came out and said that he is not satoshi nakamoto now we have another element or another person who has actually claimed publicly that he is satoshi nakamoto and that is greg right okay so this guy actually went to court to try and prove that he is Satoshi Nakamoto, okay? So he claimed to be the brains behind the cryptocurrency Bitcoin and then Britain's high court called him a liar because they were not able to substantiate his claims, okay? The evidence that he was putting, okay, was not actually convincing enough that this guy is actually Satoshi Nakamoto and all his claims were dismissed, okay? So the guy go, goes by the name uh, Greg White, another computer scientist, okay? I think he's from Australia and was trying to prove that he's Satoshi, but all his, uh, his proofs uh, were futile and he was, not be able, he was not able to prove in a court that he's actually Satoshi Nakamoto. And by the way, the judge rejected his claims and they actually called him a liar. So the big question, the big question is still, who is Satoshi Nakamoto? Who is Satoshi Nakamoto? Will we ever find out who Satoshi Nakamoto is? But personally, I prefer let it remain the way it is. Let us not ever know who Satoshi is because that was the idea behind Bitcoin. That is why Bitcoin was actually created so that you can have a currency that is independent from any central authority and no government can actually go ahead and control that currency. So far, so good. We are doing so well because Bitcoin is now trending at $70,000. If we ever find out who Satoshi's identity is, I am sure we'll see the price of Bitcoin coming down because the main function of Bitcoin is to be a currency that is decentralized. So, listening to Greg White Philip trying to prove that he is Satoshi Nakamoto. Is, is that a part of your plan uh, to get access to the Satoshi keys through, through court, courts? No, I don't even really care about the Satoshi keys. I've got other ones that I care. The fact that we've got a company with um, now thousands of patents issued, that's valuable. We are about to take action against Ethereum for NFTs um, because they're breaching our patent. That's worth billions. So, but, but, but you have actually taken action to get access to keys that you have, or to Bitcoin at least, that you have lost. Isn't that correct? Not lost, had stolen. So yes. um, what we're talking about are stolen Bitcoin. Um, and yes, I'm taking action to have the thieves not benefit. Thieves should not benefit from stolen property. Yeah. And, and what you're saying is that the same, the same principle could be applied to the Satoshi Bitcoin that you once owned. You would million. actually need a record of all of those Bitcoin. Something like accounting logs on a cloud server dating to 2009 that Wright International Investment has, which is run by a third party um, web service that records all of that information. Okay. There you go. Another person claiming to be Satoshi, trying to prove that he's Satoshi, but all his proof were dismissed and the judges called him a liar okay now this is the guy okay that i'm saying that i has been trying so hard to prove that he's satoshi and we have someone else okay this is called adam back okay so adam back is someone else who people are actually trying to say that he's satoshi okay but again adam back came and fired back and claims that no one knows satoshi truth identity and he clarified that no one and no one is satoshi no one claims okay no one 
knows Satoshi's identity. Okay, so Adam Bank clarified that no one knows a Bitcoin creator and claims that Satoshi Nakamoto was a single person who programmed and coded Bitcoin. Bah, hey, 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 wait, wait, hey, hold a second, Adam Bank. How do you know that Satoshi is a single person who programmed and coded Bitcoin? And yet you say that nobody knows who Satoshi is? How sure are you it's a single person and not a group of individuals? So there are so many questions. So many questions are lingering on people's mind on who Satoshi is, okay? Is it one person? Is it a group of people? So we have we just have to confirm, okay, who this is. But is it possible? The answer is absolutely no. But I really hope, and as I've said, let this remain the way it is. Let us not ever know the real identity of Satoshi. And this is why people are saying that Adam Bank might be someone who knows Satoshi's true identity. And this is why, okay? Because there are some email threads between Satoshi Nakamoto and Adam Bank suggesting that Adam Bank might have a clue on who Satoshi is. He might have a clue. That is why he was saying previously that, remember, he said that he claims Satoshi was a single person who programmed and coded Bitcoin. And remember, there are email threads, okay? Email threads showing conversations between these two people during the initial phases of the Bitcoin development. So again, there are so many questions, but I tend to believe maybe Adam Bank might have a clue on who Satoshi is. Is he still alive? Is he dead? Is he Nick Benzos? Is he right great? Who is Satoshi? Who is Satoshi? That is the big question that is lingering on people's mind, okay? Someone else who we might or people think might be Satoshi is someone by the name Wei Dai. Again, there are conversations, there are emails from Satoshi Nakamoto's email to Wei Dai. Remember, guys, Satoshi Nakamoto email, you can check it on the Bitcoin's white paper. It was satoshi at gmx.com because that was the email that Satoshi was using to communicate to the community and giving updates about Bitcoin. But after some time, the email just stopped sending any emails and Satoshi just disappeared in thin air like that. And I think at this point, I should give you guys the 11th seed phrase, okay? If you have been attentive, there is a word that I've said here multiple times in this video. I've talked about that word so many times. I've said that word so many times. And I keep asking you guys, what is the big, that is the big question, okay? That is the big question. So, the seed phrase, number 11. Let me just confirm. If you are intelligent enough, I'm sure you have the seed phrase right now with you. The big question for today is, who is Satoshi? Do you have the seed phrase? Okay, the seed phrase number 11 is question. Question. And it's actually very, very nice because it is rhyming with what we're discussing today. The big question. So, seed phrase number 11 is question. So far, we only have one more seed phrase to go. One more seed phrase. And that seed phrase is going to be dropping next week, okay? So, make sure you don't miss out next week's video because that is when the seed phrase is going to drop. And I'm going to put a premiere on that video so that at exactly 9 a.m., on next week on Friday, the video is going to premiere and you guys will have the access to the wallets and the faster you are, the faster you're going to get the rewards and the second coin that's going to be in that wallet, the giveaway wallet. I don't know about the first coin, I'm not going to repeat it. The second coin in that wallet is the coin that has an all-time high of $260 and the coin is a layer 2 project. And the coin is in the top 10 cryptocurrencies, okay? So, go do your research. Number one, layer two project. Number two, it is in the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market cap. And the all-time high for that coin is $260. That is the coin number two in our giveaway wallet. And finally, the person who people think might be Satoshi is someone by the name Ville Lehedoronovita, okay? So this is basically a Finnish economist and researcher on digital culture and economies and as well as a senior researcher fellow at the Oxford Internet Institute of Oxford University where he researches digital labor, platform economies and digital currencies, okay? However, we don't have overwhelming evidence to point out that this person might be Satoshi and this is just because uh, he of, of his involvement, okay? 
on, on research on early uh, digital currencies as well as the online uh, market places okay as i have said there is no concrete evidence linking him to the creation of bitcoin and himself has denied as well being satoshi nakamoto so the big question is among these seven people that i have listed who do you think is actually satoshi okay and do you think satoshi is one person or do you think satoshi is a group of people so please comment down below and let me know do you think it is one person or do you think satoshi is a group of people so thank you so much for watching my video like share follow leave a comment let me know what you think and i'm definitely see you next week in our crypto street challenge Trivia! Bye-bye and God bless you. Chad, yos!